Hallelujah. <laughs> I don't know if you'll be listening to me now. Say, These things are for having is sharing. Are there for me as a child of God? Are there for me as a Christian? I have your answer. It's for you. If you are born again, if you are a child of God, if you desire to know Christ more, if you are still hungry, if you want to go to the throne room of grace and have fellowship with the Holy Spirit, which everyone desires. <laughs> In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray at this hour. John was speaking Revelation 4, verse 1. He said, And I looked and I behold. A lot of fish have been looking and building in the name of Jesus Christ. Ezekiel also said, See, I look and the heavens was open in Ezekiel 1, verse 1. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I'm going in tongues, taught me that the grace of God will rest upon every one of you watching this broadcast in the name of Jesus Christ. From the book of Ephesians 6, verse 18, we shall start reading. It says, Praying also, always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. So, shall I pray in tongues shortly? In the Spirit, and watching the unto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints, supplications and perseverance for all saints. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, after the order of John, after the order of Ezekiel, after the order of Jeremiah, after the order of the open, cause the heavens of everyone watching this broadcast to be open. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, as they desire, let them receive. As they desire, let them receive. Let their ears be open. Let their eyes be open. E babosh e kote valada ziakote re bagada gada e la sote raboshe godo. Is the Lord Tashegede? He said, I've heard you by the end of the year. Now my eyes see as thee. In that name, he said, Blessed are you for your ears you hear, for your eyes you see. In the name of Jesus Christ, for that cause that grace to rest upon your children on this platform. He said, Shall hear what me and you that this is the way walk in the In the name of Jesus Christ, you see, I've released my spirit upon every one of you. I will no longer hide my face from you. You release your spirit upon all flesh, upon all flesh. Let it be that from this broadcast, there are heavens. Provoked open in the name of Jesus. Bas e kote solo liye to raba uze do shagada e kosa toli gredo zapora kata kata open emu open emu revive up open emu in our days. This was why it's there. When you pray, please you shall have it. We shall believe and we receive it. We believe we receive it. I said this time before they call, I will answer. Why they pray and we hear that shall be your testimony. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Paul continue in verse nineteen. He said, "As for me, that all trust may be given unto me." That I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. So we are going to be praying for every servant of God that are due for this anointing, that are due for this grace. He said, Pray that all trust may be given to them by the leading of the Holy Spirit, even as your servant. So it's here that all trust may be given unto me also by the Kodi Karagata. Paul was praying, Every minister of God, oh God, that are due for this anointing, that are due for this grace, let your grace rest upon them. Give them the all trust, give them the authority. Give them the power, give them the grace, release your anointing. Babore Kaze Kote Gede, Jatas Kose Kato, that before now it shall come to pass that day that every yoke shall be broken, every body shall be lifted by the anointing of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Rake Zoto Tosheba, Eko Ledo Ragata, Esuba Kote. Aleoda, Raka Setetete, Jabusa Katede, anyone that has you to be caught on the ministry, that has you to be lifted in the anointing, that has you to be released from every bondage and captivity. In the name of Jesus, we release you. We release you by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Amen. You are blessed. You are blessed. I'll be rounding up with this prayer briefly. By the grace of God, in my recent studies, I saw Jesus praying it from Numbers chapter 9 and Jesus was praying he said let the pillar of fire burn at every shaft that is not in you everything that God has not planted in you as you watch this broadcast and continuously let everything that God has not be burnt out be uprooted be extracted by the pillar of fire in the name of Jesus Christ that as you sleep at night that pillar of fire will burn out every time it's not of God in you put it into prayer Father by the power of the Holy Ghost as your children continue to fellowship with you as they grow in grace let your pillar of fire burn out everything you have not planted in them in their family in their marriage in their ministry in their career Zepore Gede Saka let us support Shekete Ikosi let your anointing rest with them. Let your grace rest with them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Baboketu Zakade. Vayatole Sakatata. 
concerning their ministry, let them be fresh fire. For it say makes angels spirit minister flame of fire, a flame of fire, burning, burning with desire. The zeal, Jacore get take Paul was saying, he got a chat to first say, I went up by revelation, but go see to ladder, lift up this one, Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ, we kill every spirit of lukewarmness. Every spirit of lukewarmness, spiritual laxity, we slaughter them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. My name is Apostle Marvin Omede. For those that may not have met me, I'm a servant of the Most High God, called to teach power to hear from God and to make the ministry of the Holy Spirit popular. Let me share some things briefly about my background. I was called to ministry 2014 to teach people how to hear from God and this day to lead people to the sea anointing, to the seer's anointing. To lead people to the seers anointing to the glory of God. So foundationally teaching how to hear from God, but this day to the glory of God, fresh anointing came on me to share my encounters of open heaven, therefore bringing people to heaven. The background and foundation of the seers anointing or open heaven, as I call them, or revival of open heaven is. First of all, to see in the spirit, entitled as the seers anointing. And that see as anointing as a background in the Bible. But first of all, let me explain something. People that may not know, the see as anointing as a foundation in the Bible. And let, if, you, if you take it uh, further down, it can be connected to your dream. The dream aspect is the spirit. When we say see in the spirit, we are talking about seeing with your spirit, man. Because the Bible said that you will strengthen with strength by your spirit and with mind by the spirit in the inner man you'll be strengthened with mind by the spirit in the inner man so that inner man is the real you is the real you you have heard several that our, the, our spirit dwells with the holy spirit paul was saying romans 9 verse 1 he said i have witness in the holy ghost bear witness in the that is the holy spirit living with your spirit in your heart so that said the real you is your spirit man. Then a lot of us dream. This is the best example I can use. A lot of us dream. When you dream, it's not your flesh, the real, the physical you that is dreaming. It's your spirit. And most times you see yourself acting in that dream. When you are acting, that's your spirit doing things. That's why when you wake up, you remember vividly in most cases how you have dreamt. Who was in that dream? That was your spirit man. And that is the real you. And you also must have heard that the uh, the spirit controls the physical, right? So when I say I was in a vision, I was in a vision. My real self, my spirit man, was in a vision, and I had an encounter. Someone was asking me, "When you are in this vision, sir, are you uh, there with your physical body? Are you there with your real self?" I said, "Yes, because that's my real self." Haven't you heard that most of the things you dream about they come to pass in the reality? Why? How do they come to pass? Because your real self was present in that situation. If you wake up, if they are not positive dream, if you don't counter them, they will happen. They will happen in the physical. That means it was physical. Though uh, took place in the spirit realm, but it has the power for physical manifestation. 100%. 100%. Sometimes a lot of things may have happened. You say, I had a dream about exactly this way. That is why. That is the connection of the spirit to the physical realm. So people that are spiritually sensitive don't play with their dreams and their ambitions. So today God wants to take you higher to a level of spiritual understanding. That's why I'm explaining this here as anointing by, uh, with dreams, which a lot of us are very common and familiar with, you know, to the glory Hallelujah. of God. Hallelujah. Uh, today broker is a loaded broadcast to give glory to God. Someone may ask, Apostle Mavi, thank you for explaining the seer and the seer's anointing and descent of the spirit. Now, how do I begin to see? I am interested. I am eager. I am hungry. I desire it. How do I begin to see? Let me just take them in few uh, simple tips. First, let me begin by my an example. After I watched my mentor on the screen, in a particular day, May 28, 2020, and I was anointed and imparted by the grace of God. And I listened to the old broadcast and I followed by example. I will share those tips with you now. The first thing I saw when I closed my eyes on that particular day, May 28, was I saw a lady walking with two children in 11th Street, 7th Avenue in Manhattan, 
to the glory of God. That was the first thing I saw. And I, as I saw her walking with those children, and I heard her say, well, let, let's go. There's no much. Nothing in much about her do. So I didn't know what that meant, but I just heard. I was excited because I was seen in the spirit as a, you know, an upcoming, and, and I was hearing what they were saying. And I later, I saw in a further vision, in that particular day, in a man in a, uh, in, in, in a junction between Canal Street and Church Street, also in Manhattan here, he was holding a, a plastic uh, foot plate. And he said, in that vision, he said, angels can break barriers. He said, angels can break barriers. I said, that's true, but I didn't know what that means for, too. But I just, you know, swallowed everything. I was excited. So that I began. Why am I sharing this? You may, you may not begin to see Jesus or see angels initially. For those of you that I got to start the process of, uh, you know, going to encounters with God. So, but continue in fellowship and enjoy whatever the Holy Spirit shows you because it's a process of training. I've had several encounters of relationship or friends or locations until I began to see angels. And I was even trained on how to see angels so I can know them when I see them. To the glory of God. As we continue in the broadcast, I'll still share some things, tips about that. So, like I said now, you will not begin, take note of this, to see angels or Jesus initially. But whatever you see, take note of them and write them down in your note. Document encounters. God is interested in it because it's a process of training. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Things I need to do. What are the few things I need to do? First of all, we advise you, like I always tell my students, get a notebook. And title it Revival of Open Heaven. Revival of Open Heaven and Heavenly Encounters. As you write that, that is safe to show that you are committed. Because God will not give you things. There are these things that are valuable things. In your Bible, in Matthew 13, verse 17, it says, What you see now, what you hear, prophets, kings, great men of God, they, are, they desire it, but they didn't see it. So it's a precious thing. If you are hungry enough, if you desire enough, if you are thirsty enough to come close to the throne of grace, please get a note and document on your computer. Be ready to document the, the, the tiniest detail of what you see. Everyone is excited about that. So the first thing you need to do is to get your document, uh, the, uh, you know, your material to document it. Then two, get a quiet environment. I live in a quiet a lot. Get a quiet environment. God, the Spirit does not speak. The Holy Spirit does not speak to a troubled heart. Make sure you have peace in your heart. When you are too busy in your heart, in your spirit, man, you will not hear from God. So also you will not see in the Spirit. Because I have been trained in hearing from God, I know that for you to hear from God, because one way God speaks is through this small voice. So tiny and faint that if you are noisy, you will not hear. So for you to see in the Spirit, get a quiet place. And I later knew that Holy Spirit, by His training, that it's better to do this, it, this thing early in the morning when you wake up, when your heart is still very, very empty of distractions and activities and calls and everything. So when your heart is, when your environment is quiet, your heart, your heart is kind of empty of oh, the, the the activities of the uh, program or the plan for the day. Then you just ask. So first of all, your notes, then to a quiet environment, then let there be peace in your heart. Then the thirdly, dim the light in wherever you are, dim it to a level where it's not too bright. Because we are talking about sight. If it's too bright, that will, you know, uh, affect what you, are, you, you may want to see or what the Holy Spirit will be showing you at a particular time. So dim the light in your room and sit still. Say, so be still and know that I am God. When you dim the light in your room, the next step is pray it. Say, Lord, encounter me. Encounter me through the gift of sight. Lord, encounter me through the gift of smell. Lord, encounter me through the gift of taste. Lord, encounter me through the gift of feeling. That's for your body. Lord, encounter me through the perception of the heart. It's the perception of the heart that will help you to know which has come, whether Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, or angels. Or where, to know you, let you know where you are, if you are in heaven or still on earth. Lord, encounter me through the gift of hearing. You are asking of all the ways that God can speak to us. So as you say, Holy Spirit, encounter me through the gift of sight. Then you remain sensitive. As you remain sensitive to that environment and where you are and what you are afraid about, 
Then there are three key things I want you to note. I group them together, but there are three key things. One is your the powerful cause that's in your eyes. Then two, what I also want you to know is the grace to reduce the distractions in your heart. The same grace to reduce the distractions in your mind. That's in your brain. Because that mind is in the soulish realm of your body. The soul is made up of a mind, will, and emotion. So in your soulish level, the mind has power there. So reduce the distractions there so that your mind will not think too much and be distracted. Then your spirit level, which is your soul, sorry, which is your uh, heart, your heart is your spirit man. So in that level, reduce the level of distraction and thinking going on there. You will see when you're going to encounter, there will be activities. So as you get into a quiet place, dim the light. The third point is focus. Reduce the distractions in your heart in the spirit level. Reduce the distractions in your mind in the soulish level. Then increase your focus. When you close your eyes this way, let all your attention be in your eyes. Because that's what you are trying to use to see. Is the major uh, anchor in the seer's anointing. As you look, say, Lord, show me. I'm ready to see. Open my eyes, oh Lord. Then you stay calm. You may stay like a minute, two minutes, three minutes, sometimes five minutes. Just be still. You begin to see images. Little images, flashes, little images. They are beginning to see. Then those little images, they can form pictures later on. Like I, 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 in a time, like I would like to share this. I was seeing things that something that look like waves. Waves, waves, you know. You know the waves of the sea. Or you know when the, the, it's windy. Things are flowing in the, in, in the atmosphere. Holy Spirit asked me, what do you see? I say, I see waves. I see, Holy Spirit asked me that I can't tell. You see, I, oh, it's good to see here. He said, what do you see? Like he asked Jeremiah, Jeremiah 1 verse 9 to 11. What's here thou? He said, what do you see? I say, I see waves. He said, actually, they are not waves. They are fishes. He started to turn into fishes in the river. They were fishes. Isn't that not beautiful? Isn't that not awesome? <laughs> Glory to God. So I want, I want to encourage you. I told you I'll be adding tips. I'll stop in this today. I'll continue more tips in the next uh episode to the glory of god this is our third week please take note of these three or four tips i've shared with you they are the foundations of the seer's anointing by the grace of god you shall be blessed in the name of jesus if you put it to practice because you know the bible says not only hear the word but putting the word to work if you put this thing to practice and you have any questions please leave that leave it in the comment section below and it shall be addressed in the name of jesus christ and always embrace questions they open new doors for you you are blessed in jesus name hallelujah Praise Master Jesus. Uh, and today we shall be sharing the encounter of today, which I titled Walking with the Lion of the Tribe of Judah to the Glory of God. In this particular encounter in November 22nd, 2020, I came, I was in a vision, and I saw a figure walking with the lion, which I called the lion of the tribe of Judah. As the lion and the figure came out of a, a corner, as they came out, this I saw the leg of the lion first, then the leg of the figure. I will show the image here up here now. To the glory of God as they were walking together. So as they were walking, then the lion got closer to the image. That image was me. The figure was me because I was the one in the vision. So I began to rub the fur, the hair of the, the lion, kind of cuddling it. It was so sweet and interesting. So soft. So I was happy. So we continued to walk. And we were walking. We were still walking. I was just imagining things, you know, enjoying myself in the presence of the lion or the tribe or did that. Then suddenly... The lion turned his head at, his head, head at, me, at me. I also showed the, that this is the image of where I was rubbing the fur of the lion. You can, you can see it up here. Then as he continued to walk, the lion turned his head at me and roar, oh, kind of to shock me. Ah, I said, hey. So I got shocked and it was, you know, his mind. I was smiling and I began to laugh. Just knowing that Jesus was just, you know, teasing me and playing with me. Just So it doesn't allow me to be too serious when I'm in an encounter. But I was just playful. But I never expected that it would just turn suddenly at me and roar. And this is the, the, the drawing regarding to that, that roar. And, and you see, I tried to scare back because that's what actually happened in the in the vision. It was awesome to the glory of God. So after that uh, uh, particular time, he made me up on his back. He came on top of the back of the lion and began to go to heaven. And we are soaring in heaven this way. We're going step by step, you know, going to in circles, in circles. We are going in circles to heaven, going in circles to heaven, to the glory of God as, until we arrived in heaven. As soon as we arrived in heaven, uh, Jesus dropped me and I rolled on the floor. As I rolled, there was fire all around me. I could see it. 
And when I look back, the lion has turned into Jesus Christ, the physical image of Jesus. Wow, it was something else. As I saw that, and the fire also was around the body of Jesus Christ. And he made me to come closer to him. And we sat down. We really sit in the garden. And he brought out a book and a pen. He said, I should draw. So in that particular encounter, I draw uh, a, 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 a figure of the image of the earth and of heaven. You know, paint, uh, painting the upper part of the drawing. It was a, a square, uh, a, a rectangle rather, a rectangle. The uh, divided rectangle, the upper part was painted blue, like which presents the sky. And the lower part was painted dark, which presents the earth. You know, that's what Jesus made me to do. And he said, the, air, the power in heaven is greater than the power on earth. That's what he told me. And he also said, as I come to share this encounter, in every episode, I should draw, you know, major part of the encounter. So people that have the power to listen, understand by visuals, so they will follow by the grace of God. So that's what we have been doing in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to say here that, uh, you see, the power in encounters is that, it, it defines your understanding of the word of God. It defines your understanding of the Bible. It enhances your relationship and fellowship with the Holy Spirit, which is very key in a Christian work. It enhances your fellowship with the Holy Spirit. It makes you to know these beings, these great fathers of ours that we talk and read about. So when you are sad that with them, it increases your understanding and your level of love that they have for you. And you begin to develop the same level of love for them. That's a great connection of the anointing. And let our souls all want to refer to Colossians 1 to 1, Colossians 3, 1 to 3, where he say, if we say now we are children of God, if we say we are born again, if we say we are anointed, let us focus our attention, our affection on things in heaven, not on things on We are dead. Our physical self is dead because our real self is not hidden. In Christ in God. Our carnal nature is, is dead. He said that our real life is hidden in Christ in God. In verse 4, it says something I love so much. It said in verse 4 that to that when our real life will come, when our, our life will come, which is Jesus Christ. When your life will come, which is Jesus Christ, he said you will be risen along with him. So if we don't die now physically to the flesh and to the things of the world and desire to grow in the spirit, when Christ will come, we will be part of you know, that body, that unity. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you for listening today. You shall be exalted, you shall be lifted. The young major shall be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Every aspect of your life that is yearning for open doors, open heaven, progress, testimony, you shall have them as you desire in the name of Jesus Christ. As you listen to this broadcast, may your life be transformed in the name of Jesus Christ. You will no longer remember where you used to be in Jesus' wonderful name. You are blessed. It's a new day for you. Please like this broadcast. And let others have the opportunity to listen and be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. That was how I listened and read books about everyday encounters and desire them. Today is a reality in my life. It shall become a reality in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Please, if you have any questions, guys, please don't hesitate to uh, share them below in our comment section and they shall be addressed in the name of Jesus Christ. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, please and share with others. So that uh, as we come to share more broadcasts, we shall be the first to receive in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. My name is again Apostle Marvin Omede. A man sent by God to teach power to hear from God and to make the ministry of blessing popular. It's a new day for you. It's a new day for you. It's a new day for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. For you, for those of you that are just knowing about hearing and seeing in the spirit, it's a level of spirituality, people. When God begins to direct you by himself, if you check my Facebook uh, you know, page out, uh, um, and sight, you will see a lot of uh, teachings that regards how to hear from God. Please make use of them and let them impart your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Congratulations. It is well with you. In Jesus' name. Amen.